first of all, I'm going to cover two things, two slides. The first one is going to be about the pathway for family doctors who are coming to Canada. And the other one is going to be about something that nobody is taking into consideration, our issues. So, yeah. So the first one, as you see here, this is the pathway for certificate. So as a regulated profession, you need to get the license uh, in order to practice. The first thing, as you see on the top, it's the PCRC. It's Physician Credentials Registry of Canada. As a foreign health professional, you need to submit your paper for verification. So for that, you submit all your documents to the PCRC, and you need to pay for that. You need to open an account for $250. This is just to open an account. And of course, for each document you are submitting, there is fees for that. When you submit your paper, you can apply for the NCCEP, which is the Medical Council of Canada Evaluating Exam. This is the main exam to go through the process. So the AE, the fees are around 1700 Just think about the fees, okay? Every time I'm going to try to mention the fees so that you can get an idea about that. After the EE, which is very important for IMGs, you have a choice. You can go for the NCCQE1, which is the Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Examination Part 1. And for that, the fees are around 1,000. You can go for the NACOSKI, which is the National Assessment Collaboration Objective, Structured Clinical Examination. And for that, the fees are around 2,300. This is a requirement for all IMGs starting from July 1st, 2015. The NACOSKI is mandatory. So after that, you can apply for the residency matching service, which is called CARMS. If you are lucky, you get an interview. If not, you need to try. So when you get the interview and everything is okay, you get accepted into postgraduate training program. As we know, there are many residency positions, a lot of them for family medicine. So after getting accepted in the training program and you complete the postgraduate residency training, that time you are okay, you can register with the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario. I'm not going to go through the other part because this is about the College of Canada. This is we are in Ontario, so I prefer to talk only about that. Right now, the EE, the NACOSKI are very important for all IMGs. But the thing that I want to mention, that the more exams you pass, the more you are improving your portfolio. So, EE, NACOSKI, yes? Just, uh, I would like you to also add the TOEFL, because you guys are also asked to do that, the, and it's a yes. cut-off. Okay, sorry, I, I forgot to mention that. There is the proficiency language test. So if you didn't study in English or French, you go to go for this test. And this test is valid, I believe, only for two years, right? So you need to calculate everything. And of course, you are going through all this process. You are getting out of practice, and which is not good for your process, right? So this is in general the pathway. I don't want to go in depth in this process. Yes? I said, sorry, I mentioned that the NACOSKI is a requirement starting from 1st of July 2015. So the second slide, 
So as you see, we have already discussed about the practice in Canada, the different exams, the fees. And the second thing about the issues. So as you see here, there are different issues. I tried to mention the common ones. And to cover this part, I didn't find better time than my personal story. So, when I came to Canada in 2009, I was very happy. Because I thought, I'm going to practice. That was my dream, and it's still my dream. And I'm trying to go through this process. I know it's hard to talk about my personal experience, but I try and do my best. So, we came full of ambition, of course. We tried, I came with my son and husband. We tried first of all just to discover the place, look around for a school, as French, as English is not my first language, is not either my second. So we found the college. We had to pay the fees. That's okay, we paid the fees. I had to travel to Mississauga from the north of Toronto. I was not time at finish. That's fine. I'm talking about that in maybe two minutes, but it took us months and months to find this school. And I was shocked because after two years, I got to know that I can just get involved in study groups for free and get all the information that I was looking for. That's fine. But even though I was lucky because I have many friends, many colleagues who get, got involved in programs, in courses, and they paid fees, a lot of money. And then after their first year, some, some of them at the end, when they got the certificate, they found out that they cannot get in the job market. And this is worse. The other thing about the integration. When we talk integration, it's network. And I see Canadians, they love networking. This is something very important for them. We are good in social networking, I think. Because we are living in St. James Town, we know people, it's easy to talk to people. But when it comes to the professional networking, this is hard for us. And I believe many of us got at least one chance, but they didn't grab it because they didn't know how to network. This is about the networking. When we come to the familiar support, just think about how I can get support from husband who is also struggling. How I can focus on my studies when all my family is dependent on me. This is, this is really difficult. Everything, this is, all those issues are making things difficult and unfortunately nobody is taking that into consideration. The last thing I want to add to that, many people think that when we came to Canada we came for money. That's wrong. People who are highly educated, I believe they are well established back home. When we came here, we came to share our knowledge, to improve it, not to waste it. And when we came here, we came to enjoy, as a human being, all what Canadians are enjoying, such as integrity, equality. So we, we sacrifice many things, and a lot of things, our positions, everything. And now, we see our dream, trying to it here. But I really would love just to end this. We want to really do something. If it doesn't happen to us, those who are attending here, at least for those who are going to come after us. Because if this is a waste of knowledge. Staying here, just struggling around, this is not the solution. And we are ready to go wherever they decide for us. Whatever they can ask to do, we are ready to do it. Thank you so much.